Okay, so greetings to Sir Muhammad Atif Hanan. I'm Randy Jaden Ramos, and today we're going to present about our business plan. Before we start, let me introduce you to our to my group members. We have Ahmad Arif Isafik bin Amiruddin, Izam Hakim bin Idris, Muhammad Faris Hazik bin Muhammad Nizam, Ahmad Shahiruddin bin Ahmad Shukri, and Lastly, we have Muhammad Faris Irfan bin Muhammad Azman. Okay, so our company is called X Forecast Cyber Cafe. It is a new business venture that aims to provide a unique and innovative concept for our customers. So our cyber cafe offers a comfortable and efficient space. For customers to access high-speed internet, compete on the tasks, and enjoy a wide range of food and beverages. Our many features classic cafe fares such as sandwiches and pastries, as well as unique locally sourced specialty items and traditional coffee. Our experienced chefs and baristas will ensure all menus are prepared to the highest standards and our friendly staff will provide excellent customer service. In addition to our cafe, we also have a mini library that aims to provide a comfortable and inviting space for our customers to enjoy a wide range of food and beverage options while surrounded by books and other materials. So, as for our mission, is to create a community hub where individuals can access technology, knowledge and entertainment in a comfortable and inclusive environment. And as for our vision, is to be the premier destination for people seeking a seamless blend of technology, education, and leisure services where they can connect, learn, and grow. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Shahiruddin Bin Ahmad Sufri and I am data analyst for x Company. As, as we know that every company has their own goals. And for our company, the goals is, the first one is providing high quality internet access and a comfortable environment for customers to work, study or relax. And the second goal is building a diverse collection of books and other reading material, materials to cater to the interests of different customers. The third goal is offering a unique and valuable experience that sets Exposa apart from traditional cafes or libraries. Hi, uh, my name is Ahmad Rizofik bin Amrudin and for this slide, I will be talking about all the rules that have inside uh, in inside of the Exposa Cyber Cafe. From the Chief Executive Officer, we have the Randy uh, Dan Ramos as our CEO. Next, we have me, which is Ahmad Rizofik bin Amrudin as Administrative Officer or Manager. Next, we have Marketing Manager, which is Izzah Martin in Indris. Next, we have um, Operation Manager, which is Muhammad Faris Irfan bin Muhammad Aziman. For the Finance, we have Finance Manager, we have Muhammad Faris Hazik bin Muhammad Izzam. And last one, for the Data Analysis, we have Ahmad Sayyidin bin Ahmad Shukri. Okay, for this slide, I will be talking two things, which is the problems and also the solution. The problems that us are facing, and also give some solution how to counter it. For so for the problems, uh, after we plan the business, we find three huge problem, which is uh, not all people wish to keep or like the Jazz and the Cafe. Next one is Cyber Cafe and uh, not suitable for the young kids, and the last one is too noisy and very uncomfortable. Okay, so we give some solution how to counter it is for the first one um, as you know Exposa has provided uh, the libraries and also cafe at the first floor and to separate them okay, the next solution we have is we give some quiet and also very chill environment so they can very uh, they easily very comfortable to hang out at the library and cafes and also give very special by parents and kids can come with their kids can come to spend time to read the book or enjoy the kids and also coffee and last one is restrict age so by our business decided that 
um, 15 years old or below cannot allowed to enter the cyber cafe but they can come to the library and also the uh, cafe but back to the restrict age um, the kids below 15 years old can come with their parents knowledgeable so that's all thank you okay this slide shows a few prototype about our products which is as you know Exposa have three major component things which is library, cafes and cyber cafe that combine together and our product prototype uh, which is the cakes and also coffee that serve to the customers. Hi, my name is Izama Kimenidres and I am the marketing manager for X4K Cyber Cafe. Now I am going to explain about the target market for our company. For the target market, our business has chosen a strategic location which is at Puncha Alam Hill Park Avenue, Shop Lot Hill Park Avenue, Bandar Puncha Alam for our premise to operate as it is close to multiple areas that have a high volume of population performing their daily operation. Based on the observation of our premise area and target market, we estimated that there will be a few groups of people in the Puncha Alam area to be our customers. Among the estimated customers for our business are students and lecturers from UITM Pucha Alam as they will be needing a computer service in completing their task and assignment as well as a place for leisure and entertainment. Next, there are office workers who work near our premise in which our premise will be a perfect destination for them to go during lunch hour, after work or to complete their task. Lastly, nearby residents are also estimated to be our customers as our premise is suitable to be a destination for nearby residents to fulfill their daily entertainment as well as a place for them to hang out. Competition and competitive edges. Within the target area, three competitors have been identified. Our first competitor is Evergreen Internet Cafe. The strength of this cyber cafe is it has a large quantity of computer with a 100 Mbps internet speed which is too fast for each computer and provide customer with medium spe specification of computer equipment for various uses. However, the arrangement of computers is very close and does not offer privacy for users. Also, the space is too crowded and cramped. Our next competitor is Live Esports Cyber Cafe. The strength of this cyber cafe is the cyber cafe are well known for its tournament and events for gaming and they provide customers with media specification of computers, of computer equipment, including an ergonomic chain. However, it does not offer privacy for its user as the arrangement of computers is too close to other computers and the building atmosphere is too noisy and crowded. Our last competitor is Repulsa E-Blue eSports Stadium. The strength of this cyber cafe is Repulsa Cyber Cafe is well known for its premium and attractive interior and exterior decoration. Also, they provide a high specification of computer equipment that are suitable for gaming and editing. However, the environment of equipment of this cyber cafe is only specific for gaming purposes and not suitable for customers who want to complete their tasks or study. Thank you. Next is for Exposa's strength and weakness, which is our company. First is unique offering. It is because our company is combining a cafe, cyber cafe and library into one business. Exposa offers a unique and comprehensive experience for customers. It is because the customer can enjoy the using our cyber cafe and library. At the same time, they can order food from our cafe. Next is <clears throat> convenient location. It is because Exposa has chosen a strategic location. It could be easily as accessible for customers and provide a a convenient stop for their needs. Then lastly is technologically advanced. It is because Exposa has invested in technology to provide 
customers with fast and reliable internet access. It could be a strength and provide customers with a better experience. Next is for our weakness. The first weakness is lack of brand recognition. Because Xforsa is a new business, it may have limited brand recognition and may need to invest in marketing to build its reputation. It is because, uh, as we know, it takes time to make people know our company. Then second weakness is limited product offering. It is because in our uh, cafe, we only offer coffee and cakes. To compare with others, they offer many types of food and drinks. For the marketing strategy, firstly, pricing strategy. The pricing strategy encourages our company in deciding a price that guarantees profit while also attracting customer to use our service by referring to the prices in the competition. Our company has set the price of our computer service at RM3 ringgit per hour, which is the average price after analyzing all our competitor service prices. Next, the sales tactics. The sales tactics used by our company is an own sales force strategy. Our company will provide a, and promote a discount price to customers who registered as a member and reloaded for a certain amount of money on their membership card to use our computer service at our cyber cafe. And lastly, for advertising and promotion, our company uses promotion as a way to connect and communicate with our customers as well as influencing other potential customers to engage and purchase the services provided by our company. There are three methods that will be used by our company in the promotion strategy. First one is banner, second is business card, and lastly, social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mokfri Sajid bin Munizam, and I am the financial manager in x 4 Sabi Cafe. I will be presenting on financial projection for the business plan. This is the income statement for the company for five years starting with 2023 to 2028. First, as you can see, the gross income is steadily rising throughout the years. It started with RM 984, 704 and 50 cents in year one, and RM 1 million 161, 766 and 57 cents in year five. The total expenditure is also rise, rising slightly throughout the years. Moving on, uh, the net profit before tax is 623, 614 and 66 cent in year one until 772, 176 uh, and 97 cent in year five. The tax is 24% uh, in Malaysia. After the net profit uh, de de deducted by tax, it become uh, 473, 947 and 14 cents in year one until 586, 854 and 49 cents in year five. The accumulated profit calculated by combining each year net profit after tax starting the year one to year five. They are increasing everywhere every year with a total of nearly 2.7 million accumulated profits. To run this business, we need a capital of RM 200,000 ringgit. With the contribution of each six shareholders, we managed to gather RM 150,000 ringgit. To get uh, RM 50,000 more, we make a loan from bank with 6% interest for three years. Next is the cash flow break even. Every year, we will get cash surplus or cash deficit. A cash surplus is a cash that exceeds the cash required for day-to-day -day operations. It will be added uh, with the beginning cash balance uh, to get the ending cash balance. The beginning cash balance for year one zero is because we just started in year one this year. So to find the ending cash balance uh, for the following year, uh, we will combine the ending cash balance from the previous year with the cash surplus next year and we will get the ending cash balance for the following year. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Farid Sherfan. I am a operational manager for Forsa. This is our milestones. On 10 October to 17 October is a business merger. On 19 October to 30 November is a completed completion of planning and development. On 1 December to 18 December is a uh, we contact a sales representative. On 20 December to 21 December is we contracting with the suppliers. On 25 December to 2nd January we purchase a machinery and raw supplies. On 4th January to 15 January we do a preparation for a launch and for 23rd January to 27th January is the first business sales. Moving on for the financial stock, there are six shareholders or partners uh, which contribute to financing this the business. Uh, first is Randy Jaden, uh, which contribute 50%. Next is Izam Hakim, contribute 10%. Ahmad Arif Taufik, contribute 10% also. Farish Irfan, contribute 10%. Muhammad Faris, contribute 10%. And Ahmad Sharudin also contribute 10%. Uh, but we, we are short for 50,000 ringgit, so we take a loan from bank uh, with, uh, with 6% interest for 3 years. With the contribution of the shareholders and loan from banks, we will spend the money for our business to buy machinery and equipment, raw materials and office equipment. We will also spend the money uh, for the suppliers and utilities for our business. In conclusion, Exforsa as a cyber cafe offers a unique and valuable experience to its customer by combining the convenience of internet access with the joy of reading and exploring books. By providing a comfortable and well-equipped space for work, study and leisure, Exforsa can attract a diverse range of customers and foster a sense of community. This type of business can be great addition to any neighborhood and can help support local resident and business. Overall, Exforsa can be a hub of for knowledge, creativity and connection for all who visit.